work, work, work. Yes. Good morning or good evening. Well, I've only got one bar of battery, so better make this introduction quick. Today, I'm just going to be doing a Monday vlog update, an update on what's been going on uh, this weekend with myself in my life. Also, what's going to be happening on Supercars of London, because this week I'm dedicating two days to edit all of the best of 2014 videos. I'm hoping to make about three to four, maybe five, but they're going to include uh, the bloopers. So everything that you don't see that I've filmed and mucked up, I'm really hoping that I can create that video. I'm also going to be creating the best of Supercars of London. All of the cars that I've seen in central London are going to be whittled down to the best of. I may do a top five or a top ten supercars in London. Also, I've been in a lot of supercars this year, so I'm going to be doing a best of onboard supercar rides, which I'm really looking forward to editing. But I'm going to be have to uh, fiddle through my hard drives at home to try and find all of the footage because over this year, I have filmed an incredible, uh, an incredible, incredible amount of um, film. So today I'm heading to work, I'm going to be planning the next couple of days, uh, working, doing my normal everyday stuff and also going to be starting a question and answer video which I'm going to be doing this Saturday as part of living with a supercar. You may remember when I first got the car I did a question and answer and asked some fairly basic questions about how I got the car, what I do for a job, this, that and the other. This Saturday ask whatever you want, whatever question you have in mind about the YouTube channel, about supercars of London in general, where the best place to spot cars are or whether it's about me and the car whatever it is definitely get your questions in on this comment box below and uh, the question and answer video is going to be happening sometime at the end of this week and the video is going to be going live on Saturday which I can't wait to answer all of your questions so um, first things first let's do a cold start my neighbors hate this every morning Fun, fun. I'm trying to get the um, sticky map. My car desperately needs a clean, so I'm really looking forward to meeting up with Aspect Valeting, hopefully towards the end of the week where he can give my car a full ceramic coating and a deep detail, which he did on the Iron Man wrap, and he's gonna be doing again on this car. It is so dirty, I haven't cleaned it in a long time, but I do wanna get it nice and shiny because this Sunday there's so much talk about the Gumball get together, which is happening in Birmingham at the MSL. Um, performance garage and I've had a lot of questions asking whether I'm going or not and do you know what I still don't know whether I'm going I've got a lot of family coming in on the Sunday to get ready for Christmas I know that ideally they're gonna want me to be at home but I would love to go to Birmingham and uh, check out all of the cars that are there meet up with loads of people including Aleem of course Yanni uh, Lenny they're all going to be there. They've all been uh, posting about it on Instagram, but I've been I've been keeping quiet because I don't know whether I'm going or not. But it would be nice to go, and it would be nice to take this car to um, its first car event because it hasn't been to a car event before. In the blue, it went to a lot of car events when it was in Iron Man.
What's up? I'm uh, sat at my office desk, or the other side of the desk, working away. Um, and one thing that I wanted to uh, talk about on this video was my second supercar. I've left loads of hints on YouTube, Instagram, and everything like that about what will be my second supercar and when will it come. However, the discussion was, what car do I go through for my, sec for my second supercar? I will be making a YouTube series, which I probably, it'll be really difficult for me to say, maybe September, maybe September time, there'll be a my second supercar series. Some of the options, are the Ferrari 458, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560, potentially the Lamborghini LP640 Murcielago. Absolutely brutal car. If I can pull that off, then my dream of having a proper V12 Lamborghini by the age of 25, it would just be incredible. But then the newer cars that are coming on the market as well um, are tickling my fancy, as they are a lot of other people in the automotive world. The new Mercedes AMG GT. What do you think of that? Um, and the other car that is coming out the first quarter of 2015 is the new McLaren Sports Series. It first came onto the um, internet as the P13, the baby 650S, um, and it was going to have a detuned 500 brake horsepower twin turbo V8 that has come out of the 650S. So it's um, sitting underneath the 650S, and even though it's been called a Sports Series, I'm not sure whether it's going to be a supercar. And the arguments that go out on whether the Audi R8 is a supercar is... Um, quite interesting to watch on YouTube. So if I was to get a McLaren Sport Series, it wasn't even called a supercar, then is that a supercar? So there's loads and loads of options on what car I could potentially get. And obviously budget is a huge factor. So there's a good couple of minutes wasted talking about my second supercar that isn't happening for another 10 months or so. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be heading into central London, not really to be doing car spotting, but I'm gonna be taking my video camera. I might try and vlog as much as possible. I've got and a meeting and I'm going to be wandering around the streets of Mayfair and Knightsbridge as well and hopefully going to be catching uh, some crazy supercar on the streets of London. There was an all blacked out LaFerrari in central London over the weekend which looked absolutely stunning. Apologies there's not too many supercars in this. Is there any supercars outside? A couple of Ferraris, I'll show you, but nothing exciting. Oh there's a super Legera there. So, five Ferraris and my baby brown blue Audi R8. So a few cars and um, yeah, my hands are freezing and I don't even think that the daytime light has come at all. It's still dark outside, even though it's two o'clock. It's like stayed like this since 10 o'clock and it's just only gonna get darker now, which is really depressing about the winter. I'll tell you what's a really cool video coming. I'm going to be doing my Christmas shopping in my car. So you remember how my last shopping trip went with um, my Audi R8, but this year, because it's Christmas shopping, it's gonna be very Christmas orientated and trying to get a Christmas tree into my car is going to be very difficult, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Don't forget that all this week, there's the opportunity to win a Ferrari, which is this image here. And I did a video last week on it as well, which was uploaded last Thursday. As soon as this competition ends on the 8th of December, um, I'm going to be launching another Christmas competition, which is going to give you the chance. Hold on. Come on. As soon as that competition ends on the 8th of December at midnight, I'm going to be launching the Christmas Supercars of London competition, which is going to give you the chance of driving three supercars, I think, which um, is going to be happening on Twitter. That's going to be a Twitter competition, so follow my Twitter account, at WallacePJW, which um, I'm going to put in the description, but also across this video, as well as following Supercars of LDN, which is this YouTube channel's Twitter account. I hope you've enjoyed watching this update vlog and let me know whether you want to see more of them. Like I said throughout this video, there's gonna be loads more videos coming on Supercars of London, which I'm super excited about editing tomorrow and the next day. I'll start leaking some screenshots and giving release dates for these videos as well, which are gonna be all throughout December, celebrating the awesome year of 2014, the year that I was able to buy an Audi R8. Let's hope 2050 is gonna be just as fantastic and I can't wait to share all of my adventures with all of you guys. So so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.